So Hurricane Ian is coming toward Florida and we're like kind of in the middle of Florida and it's going towards <laughs> up north. But anyway, I just wanted to get ready. Um, this time was actually very easy to find supplies. Um, I found ice, water, I got two gallons of water and then the bottles of water um, and a couple of can, can, no, can stuff. At least I won't have to remove my Halloween decorations. I was lucky to find a bunch of things that don't need refrigeration and are not so healthy. We're actually in quite a plenty stock. And coffee, of course. Colombian. Then I found a nice large cooler just in case the power goes out, and I need to put some of the stuff from the freezer chest. Some of the stuff from here is actually pretty big and then what is nice is that we can use it later on for the beach or to go out it's slowly getting dark but nothing too bad because over here you can still see a little bit of the sun and a little bit of the blue sky so a while ago my job gave us like a emergency kit bag which is really helpful and I'm getting it ready just for just in case um, so that's pretty cool it has a couple like waterproof matches um, a knife it's like 16 in one um, knife the this um, whistle a lamp and then I also come to a lot of helpful stuff like toothbrush toothpaste um, packing mask um, gloves two spare changes of clothes and then our documents in the plastic bag just in case I already have it ready and then I also finish um, downloading and getting all of Rocky's vaccines and medical records uh, offline now we're just going to get some popcorn ready and watch Resident Evil because they put it back on Netflix I just finished making my lunch for tomorrow Believe it or not, I'm scheduled to work it tomorrow, even so the hurricane's coming. But there may be a possibility that they cancel my chef. So, just in case I'm, I have everything ready. And uh, I think I use almost everything cold that we have in the refrigerator. Um, that way, nothing goes bad if the, light, if the electricity goes out. Good morning. On my way to work. Um, Hurricane Ian is supposed to reach Florida around 4 p.m. Right now it's 7.30. Um, the sky looks a little bit gloomy and dark. Um, around this time I can usually see the sunrise and the beautiful orange and yellow colors. Um, I think it's going to be pretty busy today and I'm wondering if they're going to send us home early. My only fear is um, getting a power outage at work because then that means paper charting and that's never fun because <laughs> then we have to write everything on paper and then we have to manually transfer it into the computer or into the patient's chart and depending on the volume and how many patients we see that's a lot of charting um, or double charting on the same patients so we'll see how the day goes some of the streets are starting to already get flooded which is crazy this one tends to get flooded very easily Today we're leaving at 4, so I'm very excited. I'm going to make sure my brakes charge just in case when I go back home and there is no electricity. And then we're going to, we close today at 4, and then we close Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm back on Friday. Then I work Thursday, so I'm excited to be off. And just as predicted, 
there are like a couple of patients, I think there are five patients already waiting in line to be seen right before we open. But that's okay. I'd rather have them come in early than really like at the last minute at night. The clinic sent us home early. They were supposed to let us go early, like at 4 p.m., but they changed our minds. So now we're leaving at 2. Right now it's 2.30. We finished charting. Uh, we finished doing all the callbacks for the patients, their labs, all the stuff. And we actually had to unplug everything on the office, all the computers and all the electrical stuff, and put plastic bags over them um, just in case. Now I'm just heading home. Did all my, I already bought all the water that I needed and all the um, can and box food that we needed, so we're all set. I feel like this vlog is everything in my car, <laughs> or most of the stuff that I'm filming is in my car. But um, Ricardo has to actually go to the office um, all the way in Plant City, uh, so I'm heading to Walmart, which is the only store that is open right now. I want to get him small bottle of shampoo, conditioner, um, small toothpaste, toothbrush, things, little things like that that are important because um, he has to stay there for three days um, all the way until Friday and then it hasn't started raining yet but it's only 6 p.m. I'm sure you can see that the sky is getting a little bit dark but nothing too crazy there is no wind and there's no rain right now um, so yeah no, it's very calm it's fine um, I think my main idea of vlogging this whole storm is because my family or Ricardo's family in South America they have never experienced a hurricane we have every year we get them we either get a hurricane we get a tropical storm all of that living in Florida we're used to it so I just want my family to see how we deal with it and the changes in the weather but we're okay we're fine we're prepared we're um every year we're always ready for it and we always um over prepare when i got to the store i tried to buy cruelty free products which are products that have not been tested on animals i typed the name of the brand in google and make a conscious decision I was trying to find a cute I love you letter to put inside Ricardo's bag. I have done this since we first started dating. It's the little details that make all the difference in the world to me. They have all these small ones, but I think if I take this, it might be better because I can always refill it. And we can all use it all the time. And those little three bottles. Good morning, right now it's 7.30 in the morning, Ricardo left for his job and right now it's a little bit windy as you can see on the tree and a lot of rain but no storms yet. A lot of our family members in South America are wondering how we keep track of the hurricane as they always experience earthquakes but they don't experience um, hurricanes. So um, meteorologists usually use this website called nhc.noaa.gov they go in there and these are um, airplanes that usually go through the storm so they bring us back the data and right now this is the course i think they go into the storm every six hours um, and they update the map so right now we know that on tuesday it passed all through cuba and right now it's right here all this zone in Florida has been evacuated. They had a mandatory evacuation um, as they, uh, there's more fear of um, floating and more destruction on this area as the um, hurricane passes through. So on Wednesday morning, we're going to feel a lot of rain and a lot of wind. We're 
which we are right now experiencing and there is no thunderstorm yet and then as he keeps moving towards the center of Florida on Thursday night yeah, on Thursday in the morning we're going to feel more wind more um, rain more thunderstorms and then in the afternoon at um, Thursday it's going to be past the middle of Florida so it's going to be mostly on the east and then as it keeps going um, this is a probable course so it's not definite it's just an estimate of what they're giving us and they think that might take that course but it can always change but right now it's what we're looking at um, from Hurricane Ian. Good morning! Today is day three of uh, blogging about Hurricane Ian. Right now it's just windy and raining a little bit, but there are no thunderstorms. Uh, Ricardo already left for the office, so now I'm in the apartment. I think I'm gonna make a little bit of lunch. Um, I saw a couple of recipes online that I wanna try, and I have a couple of bananas that need to be used up before they go bad. Um, today is Rocky's birthday. Today he's 11th birthday and it's the first time in so many years that I don't get to spend it with him so that makes me a little bit sad but I'm going to see him next week and then I'll make something nice for him or take it to the doggy park. Birthday to you. Happy birthday Rokito. Happy birthday to you. Da, 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 da. When I'm in the apartment, I, la I love putting some ambient music on the speakers. So I usually just go to YouTube and usually some of the first ones that come up. Right now I'm into jazz ones or fall ones. Those are my favorites. Then I usually just put them in the office and the kitchen speakers. I think these are the humpbots. And there's so many to choose from. Before noon, I like to keep the room clean and organized, make sure the bed is done, all the stuff on the floor are picked up. And then the kitchen, I try to put the dishes away, also it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, I try to do it that way it looks clean and organized. Taco shells for now amazing. I'm just gonna eat them with a little bit of kale and rice on the side. I have my green juice here too and I'm facing the window that way I can see the rain and the wind. I just find it so calming and enjoying. And then right in front of me I have my mini iPad and I'll watch a movie while I enjoy the heat. Quick update. Right now it's 2 p.m. The wind's getting a little bit stronger. You can see it through the palm trees and some of the small trees. It's over there. And then you can see some of the rain. I'm surprised still people driving. Um, I've seen it all day. I would have think people would stay home, but yeah, I guess they have places to go. The good thing about waking up early is that I still have so much time left in the day. It's only 3 p.m., 3.09, and it's still pretty light outside. There's still rain and wind, but not lighting, so I'm gonna take advantage of the day. I finished filming my video, so now I'm doing the voiceover. I use final, uh, Final Cut Pro to edit my videos and then I use this handy microphone from Blue, I think that's the brand, to film my, uh, to do my voiceovers. To return to drawing mode, click the three dots in the top right of the screen. At the bottom, select Apple Pencil. When I do voiceover, sometimes it takes me three or four, maybe five times to um, re-record it and do it right. Um, my main thing is so that my voice doesn't sound like I'm rushing through the words or um, mostly that my accent makes sense. Um, I don't know. I just want to be very proud of the product that I'm putting out there, especially for my blog. Usually for my videos, I like the background music to be very... Um, soft, almost minimal on my when I'm talking and then in between 
the spaces where I'm not talking, I will put it up a little bit more so it's a nice background um, sound. And to be honest with you, I prefer voice over. I feel like it sounds more professional and then I can re-record my voice several times until I am comfortable or I am confident in the words I am saying. When I record the videos and I film my voice at the same time, sometimes I get stuck on the words or I don't know what to say or I just rumble too much. So that's something to think about if you're thinking of filming videos. Quick update, it's already 4.30 p.m. and the wind has definitely gotten a lot stronger and it's raining. It's not raining as crazy, but you can see the wind carrying the rain. And I see the, I've noticed that there are a lot less cars driving by. So it probably means the storm is getting stronger. But there's always one driving. <laughs> It's right now about 5 p.m. and the lights are starting to flicker so I'm going to start unplugging all the electronic devices from the wall and the wind is getting pretty strong but nothing I haven't seen before in Florida so right now nothing scary. Last update of the night, right now it's around 10 p.m. and it's still pretty windy and raining a lot. It hasn't stopped raining since um, yesterday night and I'm pretty sure it's going to continue raining and uh, making a lot of wind throughout the night. Um, I still have electricity on my apartment, luckily, but I know the areas that I needed that needed to evacuate, which were zones A and B, um, there's already starting to see a little bit of floating flooding can't pronounce that word <laughs> i'm going to sleep now that way i can wake up early and take advantage of the day three years ago i planted a uh, papaya tree in teresa's backyard i planted it from a little seed and i made and i was successfully able to grow into this huge tree it was like really tall i think it was like i don't know 10 15 feet and um the hurricane juice Throw it out. Now it's on the floor and it had a couple of papayas growing um, around it so I think Luis is very sad because I planted it for Luis because he loves <laughs> papayas and um, yeah. Good morning! Rain in Landa Lakes finally subsided. Now there is just the wind compared to last night. Now I'm just gonna make myself a nice cup of coffee, organize my office, and then enjoy the day. Good morning. Today is Friday, September 30th. We all resume our daily lives and go back to work. I know some areas in Tampa, Florida don't have electricity. Some of the areas in Zone A were flooded, which unfortunately breaks my shelters here and they need to clean them and assess that all the 